Hello and welcome back to Yabale Dropshipping 2. At this chapter we will talk about the monitor. The monitor tables is allowing you to view all of your listings on eBay from Amazon. You can have some manipulations and sort stuff and we will in a minute we will talk about all your options while using the monitor table. So first of all this is for example an example for a monitor table. You can see on the bottom of the, of the table the total items are being monitored. After that you can see the number of items per page you can view. Let's look at the table itself. So we will go over the columns of the table and talk about each one of them and what you can do with it. So let's start with this one. This one gives you the ability to choose specific items and perform some bulk operations on it. What does it mean? If I want to delete or change any of the profit or the quantity for, specific, for a few items in, in, one, uh, in, one, in one operation, I can use it that way, okay? So for instance, I want all of my, um, all of my items to change their uh, uh, quantity for uh, something like, uh, I mean, one or two, I just click apply and it, after a while I will get an email to my uh, mailbox and it will give me a report of everything that worked or if something didn't work it will explain exactly why and what items were in, uh, worked for it worked for and what items it didn't. Uh, the same I can do for the changing the desired profit or I can do something like a bulk delete. I can just delete, I can just mark here a few items and then use this delete and it will delete all of them at once and I will get an email to my mailbox about a report of a, I mean with a report of what worked and what didn't and if something didn't work then why. Let's move on to the next, the image. <coughs> so it just helped me for uh, recognizing my uh, items. I can just move, uh, I mean put the mouse on that image and it will just make it a bit more, a bit bigger. Okay, this is just for convenience. Uh, next thing is the title on eBay. I would like to edit some title on eBay. For instance, this title does not fit. So I can just edit. And the minute I will click the uh, this uh, confirm button, it will go straight to eBay and it will update uh, my title. So it will happen uh, at eBay at the moment. It will not wait any time. Just do it right now on eBay. Change my title for this item. Next important thing is the supplier status. I can see the item <coughs> supplier status. So if it is marked as in stock, everything is good. But if it marked as protected, that means that if you can recall from the last uh, session that we had, that means that this product is in protected mode. That means that all the Amazon offers filtered out by my filters that I set in the configurations, which means that there are not any available Amazon offers that are standing in my configurations filters. So if I would like to know exactly what is the reason that this uh, item is protected mode right now, I can just put my mouth over uh, this lock and I can see that for this for this uh, for instance this camera the the, the filter the um, Amazon offers were filtered because there was not enough quantity in stock and I require so to have at least 10 items in stock and none of the offers uh, had enough stock none of the offers had 10 items in stock okay this is for instance um, next uh, next column is the Amazon ASIN I can just pushing it and then I mean press this button and I will get straight to the supplier status. This is very convenient when someone is buying for me on eBay then I can just go straight here to the supplier status and click here I mean to the supplier table and click here and just buy the product on Amazon and send in to the uh, to the address from eBay. This is the Amazon price <clears throat> this is the eBay listing ID if I click on this button on this link I can go straight to my eBay listing ID. Of course, this, as I said before, this is an example environment, so it's, it doesn't really send me to my real eBay ID. <clears throat> it just sent me to some sandbox, and this is the reason it doesn't show uh, the, the real page. 
next column is the eBay price. This is the eBay price. As we've seen before with the title, we can also edit this directly on eBay. I can just click on this price. I can change it. And then I can press uh, the confirm button or the cancel, of course. And it will just immediately change the eBay price on eBay. Next, uh, of course, it will also update my desired profit. Um, by the formula, of course, we, were, we explained it before. Next step is to the eBay quantity. As we see, I can click on this link and it will let me change the quantity of this item directly on eBay by clicking the confirmation button. And of course, the desired profit, which is exactly like changing the eBay price. Those has a, a very tight connection between, but it's very sometimes it's very comfortable just to know what's the eBay price of you. You wouldn't like to start calculating the desired profit for uh, your desired eBay price. So we'll let you just, uh, just update the eBay price and it will update your desired profit accordingly. But you can do it the same way, the opposite way. I mean, to update the desired profit, it, profit and it will uh, the, uh, update the eBay price accordingly. Uh, this is a very important stuff. This is the page views. Everything here, as again, I, I say everything here is zero because this is some kind of sandbox uh, environment. This is not a real eBay. But you will get the page views counter here, which is very important. Also, the sold, how many products you sold from this uh, item, which is very important. And the sell through, which is the conversion rate. You can see the conversion rate, how many people bought this product. Uh, from the ones who view it, from the ones who saw it. You can also see the, the creation date of the product and you can also see the last updated. What was the last time the monitor was ran over this and updated the price for this product? This is, exists for everyone, every product. Of course, these hours are again because of the um, sandbox environment. This is not the real, uh, the real product. This is the, the long hours you see here. And there's also, if you want to delete, you can just click on the, on the delete and just remove some products from the monitor only or also from eBay, you can choose in here. Okay, so this is the, uh, this is the monitor. I really want to mention two stuff that we didn't talk about. First of all, you can sort, and which is very, very powerful tool. You can sort all of your store, your eBay store or your inventory on eBay by all of those columns. So this means you can you can uh, sort all of your products through the uh, I mean on the sell through, and then you can see what is selling, what is you know sells good and what not. How, how you can you can also sort based on the sold number, also based on the page number, on the desired profit, on the eBay quantity. You can sort based on each one of those columns. It is very powerful. You can have very good conclusions when you sort based on the sell through. You can see the product products that doesn't give you any uh, value. You can just mark that. You can just sort based on the sell through, and then mark the the ones that doesn't you know have the the, the ones with the lowest sell through, and just do something like a bulk delete on them, and then save money. Save money from eBay. Uh, by, from, uh, from paying eBay from a uh, product that doesn't give you what you want and also from us, from the monitor. You can just remove it and pay less because you pay by uh, by items, by monitored items. So you can also sort by the sell-through, the sold items, the page views. And of course you can sort by the supplier tables and then you will you will see, uh, you see it's ascending and ascending. Uh, order and you will see also only the protected mode products and only the in stock product uh, products you can sort based on each one of the columns and of course it will sort all the table and I mean not only the page here the the one you see here so if you have thousands of uh, products it will sort all those products and give you the lowest one or the highest one it depends here on that error <laughs> One more important thing to mention here is those uh, signs here, this small icon means that this item didn't sold for the last 60 days, which is uh, very important. So you can see all the items that didn't sold for the last 60 days, you can just remove them this is very, very easily by clicking here and just remove them from eBay. Okay, we wouldn't like to just keep products that doesn't do any work for us, right? So you get a notification here, it's very helpful. And one last thing, 
the minute you get an email from eBay that you so just sold a product and you want to uh, find it on the table, so if you have 10 or 7 items, it's very easy to find it. But the minute you have thousands of items, you can just use here this search line. You can just enter um, the ASIN of the product and it will just filter it out. Or you can just enter uh, the eBay listing ID from the email, from the selling mail. It will filter it out and you can just exactly get directly into the Amazon ASIN product. I mean into the Amazon suppliers table and just quickly send this item into the set into the buyer from eBay okay this is extremely important you do not have to manually search the table so this is that's all I guess about the, um, about the the monitor table so I think we pretty much covered it all um, we would have we, we, we are going to add some uh, very cool features soon that will show you all the items you just sold in a table um and either is going to we're going to add also an automatically uh, buying feature and uh, it's very important for us to say that we really want you to understand everything and we are available for any issues or questions at yabale.cs at gmail.com and also important for us to understand for you to understand guys that we are going to charge a very low prices uh in a, in a, if you compare it to the other uh monitors and listers and we welcome you to come and have a free trial and decide yourself and understand that this is a very powerful tool and this is a very good value for money uh, a software thank you very much hope to see you soon and see you bye bye